I wanted. I think it was Tom that raised the issue about definitions and terminology and ticketing at the beginning, and Derek's just raised that. Um, this is my wallet. This is my ticket from where I was on holiday last week. It's a magnetic stripe ticket. That technology is how many decades old? That's smart. I could buy that at literally 10,000 outlets in the city I was in. It gets me on anything with wheels to go anywhere I want. That's a smart ticket. We can't even do that. It's smart because it's integrated, not because it's technologically advanced. Yeah. So we have to be very careful about the definitions and not confuse the dash for technology, which is inevitably likely to be out of date with the simple things we still don't get right. Ali. Yeah, I mean, I just want to concur with um, Ian and some of the other comments. When we sat in on the evidence session on the 3rd of October, the guy from the Confederation of Passenger Transport was bumbling on about why it had taken 14 years to get nowhere, and we're not going to waste another 14 years to get nowhere. We need to this bill to deliver integrated smart or not smart ticketing um, across Scotland. In Glasgow, the issue with the zone card is that it's impossible to buy. You have to go to the Buchanan bus station. It's more, it's, it's expensive and um, it always expires on a Saturday. So no matter which day of the week you buy it, it expires on a Saturday. It's a complete waste of money. And how do you get to the Buchanan bus station in the first place? You need to be able to buy these tickets everywhere, 10,000 out outlets across the city. But the most important thing is the cost. And a daily price cap is absolutely essential. And as far as we understand, that's only possible to deliver that through a franchising framework. That's an argument for franchising in itself, if it will enable us to deliver this integrated smart ticket that is so long overdue. And it needs to be affordable. And in Glasgow, you could even be arguing, you could sidestep the whole ticketing a debate altogether if the public transport was free. And they are doing that in other European um, countries, in Estonia, for example. And I think we do need to be looking at something that radical to shift people out of their cars and onto public transport to the extent that we need. 